Hello my fellow linguists. The Chinese New Year aka the Spring Festival is the most important holiday of the Chinese holidays. So in the Western world you have the Christmas holiday and Christmas and Christmas and 12 days of Christmas and Christmas leading up to the New Year. But just like that, in China we have the 15 days of Chinese New Year. This year it's the year of the snake. Many people actually get confused with what zodiac animal they actually are. For instance, I was born in 1995 and so I'm a pig. However, if you were born in 1996, your zodiac animal will still be a pig unless you were born after the 18th of February. So just to clear all of the problems you have at the moment with your friends arguing what zodiac animal you have, the Gregorian calendar that we use every day in life and the Chinese lunar calendar don't actually match up. So for instance, if you were born this year, your zodiac animal will still be a dragon if you were born yesterday and before. So before we actually talk about the 15 days of Chinese New Year period, we have to talk about the preceding days of the Chinese New Year. However, we're not going to go into too much details today, we're just going to talk about the 28th day of the 12th month. 12th month. Yes. So normally on this day, family will get together and clean out all the craps they have during the year in the hopes of getting all the bad luck and stuff out of your life, basically and it's just a simple thing. Yes, that's a very technical representation. And the biggest event of the Chinese New Year preceding days is the Chinese New Year Eve. In Northern China, it's a tradition to eat dumplings, jiaozi, or gaozi, depending on what dialects you speak. Dumplings symbolizes wealth because of its similar shape to a currency thing that they have in Far East. It's also a tradition to eat rice cake, which actually translates into New Year cake in Chinese. And the New Year cake actually has a homophonous meaning of increasingly prosperous year in year out in Chinese. So after the reunion dinner, families usually go to the local temples to scare away the evil spirit of Nian, which is year. Literally means year. Lighting the firecrackers or the fireworks is a symbol of chasing the evil spirit away, which is where the term Guonian is derived from, which means past year. So some people consider lighting fires and using knives and brooms brings bad luck upon them, which means all the food consumed on the day has to be cooked the day before, even though they need to use fire to set off the firecrackers and the fireworks, I don't really get it. On the second day of the period, which is Kainian or Hoinin, which literally means the beginning of the year. My daughter's relatives and friends would visit their families and friends on this day. It's also a customary for married couples to give young people red envelopes or red pocket, depending on what you're taught. I was taught red pocket in school and people actually confused me with red envelope. Sorry. So normally people would say Gong Xi Fa Tai or Gong Hei Fa Choi to get the red envelopes and the married couples would not generally refuse to give you red envelopes or red pockets as it means they're bringing bad luck upon themselves. Skipping to the fourth day they have a kickoff of spring dinners and it's usually the time where the businesses start to go back to normal again. So on the fifth day people will eat more dumplings and have more fireworks and ask for more money and more red pockets and stuff and by the seventh day it's usually the time where people go back to work and back to school and, and you have no more excuses to celebrate the Chinese New Year holiday even though the Chinese New Year spirit is still at a high level. So a few more things before I leave because this video is getting ridiculously long. If you're trying to accustom yourself to the Chinese tradition of the Chinese New Year then you should definitely pay close attention to the following thing. First thing it's bad luck to give people single things, as single things remind people of the funerals and stuff. So if you're considering giving people red pockets and red envelopes and you're not Chinese, then you should definitely give people two envelopes and two pockets. Also pay close attention to how much money you're giving inside the envelopes. Generally, married couples give young people a $10 note, or $50 note, or $100 note, or even 500 and 1000 notes. So even though the starting number is an odd number, just make sure you don't end with an odd number. So make sure it's 10 or 50 or 100 and 500 and 1000, but not 15 or 35 or whatever. Just make the ending of the number even. And don't give people weird numbers like 22. But some people in America who celebrate the Chinese New Year are also known to give people 8 US dollars, as the number 8 has a homophonous meaning of wealth. Uh, 恭喜发财,
that means we have a prosperous and wealthy thing, life thing, and Happy New Year. And my camera battery has died in a very inconvenient time, so if you liked the video then please be sure to thumbs up and do all the things you do in the in the bottom bit the YouTube trousers and please be sure to check out my other YouTube channel my vlogging channel I'll put a link here yep so yeah thank you very much have a very nice Chinese New Year